Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Delicious Budgeting. My name is Anna, so today we have a different type of video. So one thing I try to strive to do on my channel is to be very open and honest with like the good and bad things going on. So I'm in a bit of a slump right now, not going to lie. I'll dive a bit deeper as we go on, but we're gonna do a get ready with me chit chat. And before I start, I'm not trying to like complain that like I have like this horrible life, these are like the most horrible things ever, not at all. I'm just being human, just being honest with like the behind the scene things, how I'm honestly feeling right now. So I'm very grateful for everything that I have. So just wanna put that out there. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I focus on content such as beauty, lifestyle and how to save money. And if you're interested, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, let's give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to turn notifications. I upload every Wednesday, Saturday. And just go ahead and get this chit chat going. So I absolutely have no makeup on right now. It looks a little oily because I do have Aquaphor on my skin. So if you're new here, I do have Perial Dermatitis, which sucks by the way. So that's awesome on top of me feeling down and in a slump. I have to worry about this now. It has calmed down a bit, but as you can see, gray here is a little red. But before, like it gets super red, like a really bad like sunburn or like a bad allergic reaction. So sometimes it gets like really dry and flaky. And the worst of all, sometimes we'll get like bumps and they'll like leak a clear fluid, just awful. So it has calmed down a bit. So I've been like avoiding wearing makeup, but I'm just gonna like do my makeup for today's purpose and afterwards immediately wash it off. It's just more so about having an honest conversation, less about the makeup, because I just wanna share with you all like, life isn't always like how it seems on social media. And I do appreciate like the last few like weeks um, some of you shared with me that you feel like happy on my channel or you come here like to be in a better mood because I just try to keep this a very like happy and positive upbeat channel you know I don't want to bring anyone down or like make anyone feel sad and then some of you have said like my channel is a safe place which I really appreciate that I strive for that I want people to feel safe on here I don't want people bashing anyone on here for me basically I just feel like this year with my channel and like social media I'm just like in a huge slump right now. Last October through December, I felt like my channel was growing significantly, like at a rapid pace, like at my small YouTuber level. So I felt like my views were increasing. I was getting like hundreds of views, even like over a thousand views, like the engagement was better. I was getting more subscribers. So I was like, cool, like my channel's finally taking off. Like I beat my original like YouTube goal by like three times or twice the amount. So I was feeling good about 2022 and like what that growth would look like. So I feel like I ended 2021 at a high note. I ended with 322 subscribers. Right now I'm at 369 subscribers. So I've only increased by 49 subscribers. It's almost like halfway into the year. You know, we're six months into a year almost. And for me, I felt like that was just kind of taking a step back. And then at times like I'll grow two subscribers and I'll lose them. So it's been like really hard lately. I'm not gonna lie to even like get one new subscriber. And I feel like my, well, no, my views have been like super down lately. And I'm trying to find out why and trying to switch like the topic of my content around. Like, so this year I would say I started off like high with like lifestyle type videos. And then I tried going to like how to save money videos. And just looking back at like which videos perform the best, I noticed it was like my makeup videos, like Dollar Tree hauls, like sharing like sales, like testing out like newly released makeup collections. And while those are our fun, I can't like always like do that. And also too, like I wanna create content that I'm gonna enjoy and like, like honestly, I really don't like filming makeup tutorials because I know I'm not the best at doing my makeup. And it's kind of hard to like do my makeup certain way and look at the camera and make sure like it's visible to see. It's honestly like it stresses me out a bit as I'm doing it right now. Like it's very therapeutic for me to do my makeup, so. I don't want to make myself unhappy like just to get more views so I'm trying to find like that balance where people are interested in a video topic as well as a topic I'm looking forward to create so it's just kind of hard right now so I feel like with any video I pull out it's less than 100 views like even a week goes by maybe I'll get 100 whereas before I would get like 100 within a day or two which I know it's like pretty low still, but that's just honestly like how I feel. So I'm just like trying to like figure out like what it is, like what has changed. So I'm just like not feeling too motivated. Honestly, I felt a bit discouraged 
And I hate to even say this, but I even thought about quitting the channel like altogether because I do work a full-time job. I am going back to work now and I'll film after work. Like today's Friday and I'm filming after work. I just got off work or I film on the weekend, which are my days off. So I just felt like for the return I was receiving, the hard work, I just almost felt like, okay, no one wants to see me. I'm getting less than 100 views. I'm not getting that much like engagement. Like honestly, I was just putting like a lot of pressure on myself and just like filling my head with like not the most like positive thoughts but i just tried to like take a step back and just like try to increase my thumbnails a bit more do more instagram polls like what do you all want to see so i'm trying like really hard over here and then out of nowhere one of you messaged me on instagram saying like i've been watching your videos for a bit I actually post on instagram i thought it was super sweet and i thought it was just like the right timing because i was just really like i'm just gonna quit this channel altogether so sorry about that, Ernie just came home from work so the dogs are getting a little excited there. So as I was saying, I do strongly believe in like signs, like I am not one to like quit right away, like it will take me like forever. Like the job I have now, I applied for at least five times and got denied. It takes a lot for me to quit so I just felt like that was such a clear sign. This person didn't know like how I was feeling, anything like that and they were saying like, your thumbnails have improved, your editing has improved. I felt like I was watching like one of the bigger channels and I just thought that was like so sweet and it's like just the right timing to, you know, have me just keep like pushing on. And I did message them like, you know, just kind of venting a bit like, you know, oh my gosh, like this message like meant a lot to me. Like, thank you so much. Like my, I felt like my channel hasn't been doing well. Like my views have been low. And they just said like, hey, you might be going through a slump right now. Just keep moving forward. Don't let the views like get to you. Just like keep moving on and like, you know, hopefully like they'll grow. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just trying to like switch things up a bit. I know like at the end of 2021, some of you messaged me saying that you want to see more like content with the dogs, like with Ernie, like have more videos with them involved, like more into my life. So I felt like I did that and that's like when my channel kind of started like slipping down a bit. So I don't know what to do there because that's what you all want to see. But then the views went down and then I tried, okay, let's try saving money. One of my videos recently did like really good. It's almost like at 800 views on like how to save money on your grocery bill. So that was a little uplifting. And then my birthday freebies bear was like the only one that got like a couple hundred views. So those are like my only good videos this year. The rest are like less than like 200 or like under 100. So for five months like doing this, I just felt like I wasn't going off to a good start. Because this year I wanted to buy like a camera and a laptop if my budget allows me. So then I was like contemplating that like, well, if my channel's not doing well, should I even do that? And then on the other hand, I was like, well, maybe if I get better equipment, better quality, maybe like that'll improve my channel a bit. So yeah, that's just how I'm feeling right now. And I do appreciate like the people that are like constantly like commenting. Like I really do appreciate you all. I'm just like being like super honest here. So like I said, I don't want to seem like I'm being like ungrateful or it's just like about the views, but just understand like sometimes it does feel like a little bit discouraging like I want to relax after work it's Friday night but I'm have to film this I'm gonna edit it the same night and you know I'm gonna add like the little music to it so it just there's a lot into it or even on weekends like I have to like get up earlier sometimes or we have to like push things to later so that I have time to like film and edit the same day I always film and edit the same day because on iMovie I'll go to iCloud and I don't I don't mess with the cloud so it's just a lot and I have to do like my overlays so it really is like time consuming and then like on my breaks at work I work on my thumbnails so it's just a lot but on the plus side so a lot of people were telling me actually like one of my good friends from like high school was like hey you should really go on TikTok like that's how you can grow and like Someone else told me that too and I was like, I do not want like another social media to keep up with because right now at minimum, I have been posting like one post a day on Instagram and even that's a lot for me. It's not even like the posting, like I have to post, come up with the caption and then I do 30 hashtags like every single post to try to like push my like page out there and then also post in my story and do 10 hashtags. So 
But it's just like posting out the hashtags like, oh yeah, I could do that like all the time. Or sometimes like, you know, I just don't look the best for stories and I'm at work. So I mean, I don't feel like I have like the most interesting day like Monday through Friday. And I feel like I'm on my phone a lot anyways, like, you know, with doing YouTube stuff because I film and edit on this phone. I do everything on this phone pretty much. Cool, love that for me. So yeah, I'm trying to just like find like that work life balance and do this channel and grow on top of it. So it's just like a lot to juggle, a lot to like research. So on the plus side though, I do have a TikTok. So add me on there, it's Belicious Budging. So I was like kind of worried like, oh, I have to come up with content for this. But I was like, you know what? If I come up with content for it, cool. I'll post on Instagram as well. So you will see it like all across the board, but that's what I can do right now. If I was a full-time content creator, it'd be different, but I do have my job and everything. So on TikTok, I've actually been doing like pretty well. I'm getting like likes, followers. My views are way higher on there than on YouTube, which I found kind of interesting. Like some videos are like 800, 900 views. So I don't know what's going on there, but that kind of gave me some like hope a bit to like just keep on like going. As I mentioned before, I know what videos are gonna get me like the most like views and everything like that, but to do it like constantly, is just not like realistic like in my everyday life. Like I'm not gonna spend hundreds of dollars for Bath and Body Works hauls or collections and that's just like more junk in my house. Also to like, you know, Black Friday ads, I can only do that during Black Friday. Like honestly, like October through December, the past like year and a half have been like the best time for me, like content wise, but obviously that's like during like a specific season. My traveling videos have been doing well, but you know, obviously I have to like travel for that or like Dollar Tree hauls, but I'm trying to like spend less at Dollar Tree, especially with that 25% increase. Like I really didn't think it affected me that much, but kind of did. I just really had to take a step back and like realize and like analyze things. Like when I was doing well on YouTube, I wasn't growing as much on Instagram, but now like I say I'm like pretty steady on Instagram, but I'm kind of growing on TikTok and it's not doing so well on YouTube. So I'm just kind of like picking my bells at this point. I feel like unless like you already have like a high amount of followers, you're gonna do well on all platforms or if you like post more, you're gonna do well. And I'm just like striving to even post like once a day, but that's just, kind of all within like my capabilities right now because I don't want to burn myself out. I'm actually going to stop the video right here. I was going to do a full face of makeup, but I feel like my imperial dermatitis is going to flare up once I put on foundation. I noticed that flares it up, like stress, that time of month. Also, I realized like if there's like extreme heat outside or wind, I need to have sunscreen on and just have like some sun protection because that's been irritating it as well. It's really not a fun thing to have and it happens randomly, so that's cool. Just wanted to be honest on here and just share with you all like kind of what I've been feeling about like the low views, the low engagement, just like not growing on here and not like it's all about like views and subscribers, but I feel like when you're putting like so much work into it, like time away from your family, you want like a little bit of encouragement and not having that, just like, okay, is the time I'm putting into it like worth it? Like, I'm just being like completely honest here. Like, I want to help people. I want to like interact with you all. I want you all to feel safe and comfortable. So I do appreciate those who are constantly on here telling me that. And the person that messaged me on Instagram, like honestly, that just gave me like more hope just to like, keep on going. Hopefully like here on out or even like a few months or so, I'll just start to grow again. So. Really look forward to that and maybe one day I'll have like a thousand subscribers and I could look back on this video or other content creators out there or if you're just feeling like you're in a slump in general, like we all feel that way and it's okay to feel discouraged. So I just like being open and honest with you all. So if you like these type of videos, let me know in the comment box down below. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Also, let's give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you all on my upcoming videos. Bye everyone.